It's Tuesday, gonna get some coffee and get my hair done today. I'm getting it fixed today. Also, I fucking burned my scalp right there super badly from the bleach. And I know better than this. I know better, I, you know? So, I feel like I'm gonna get a lecture. Oh, hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. What do you think of the vlog so far? I like that part too. I'm getting ready to go and get my hair fixed now by Grace Kirk, the illustrious, gorgeous comedian and hairstylist she is, is fixing my hair. I'm sorry, I'm trying to type it in the navigation right now. Now I'm just driving with a vlogging camera up on my windshield. Smoke weed every day. And I feel so... Cool. I feel so cool right now. Really the person I'm meant to be. This is the illustrious Grace Kirk. And from the Yeah Yeah podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here today. We're gonna fix our hair. And the I mean, <laughs> usually I'm nervous to do someone's hair, but I don't think that we can make it work. We can only go up from here. I know. She re bleached this. We're going tail, bubble gum. It's gonna be a moment. It's gonna be a moment. It's gonna be the moment. It is gonna be the moment. We thought Lizzo at Soundfly was gonna be great. No, it's this. You're beautiful and sweaty. She has to go. I have to go. Final result. But yeah, we're headed to an open mic in San Marcos right now, which is where I used to live. Then we're hanging out with my ex-boyfriend who I was supposed to to. Um, we're friends now, so we don't hate him, fans. We love him, but like, he's stupid and he deserves a little bit of hurt in his life, but not too badly. Fun tea. His life is punished. I actually can't enough. even like really tell. I, I don't know. I don't think anyone's gonna tell his real life friends. He knocked up some random girl <gasps> who tried to keep the baby so they could like be together, but he was like, No, I don't want a kid with you. Um he apologized to me for it weird. <laughs> um <laughs> we actually cried about it together. Anyways, really? she had a miscarriage. <laughs> Which he looked up, it was an 8-20% to 20 chance. She had to have like an operation to get it removed. Really sad, and I was really hoping he would be a dad. Because honestly, if the world's going to punish him for how he treated me, that should be how it's done. Anyway, so I did my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my vlog that um, I've only been to San Marcos to watch my ex-boyfriend get drunk. So That's similar. My ex-boyfriend used to tell me I had an alcohol problem when I lived in San Marcos with That's him. That's so fun because you're sober now. I know, because I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to admit, admit I was an alcoholic was because I was like, then he would be right. Isn't that the worst? Well, I think I, you know, I don't, I, want, I mean, I say I'm an alcoholic, which is very true, but I also think I'm a very manageable one because I never let it affect my relationships for other people. So if I did want to relapse, it wouldn't be like awful, but I'm saying that because I'm trying to justify it. You know, but I can't justify it because it's not good for me. I've got the opposite problem because my ex said I'm not committed to anything I do. And, like, you were really committed to drinking too much. And, like, I just, I can't commit to anything. Oh, my God, yeah. So, like... I want to get back to being committed to drinking too much, but I can't because <laughs> that's just a bad thing for me to do. Christina Mariani's getting in the car Hi. now. Hi! Oh, Welcome to the vlog. This. Welcome to the vlog. Oh. You got to sit in the middle seat so you can be... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <Can> we... <laughs> okay. Now, now we're gonna go be late. Okay. Bye. Thank you for the coffee. Mm -hmm. You look so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh, I'm on the podcast? What a, what a gap, gang, gang. Okay, I'm gonna make you look really bad. Number one, uh, still in that's, the place. That's me, that's all me. Number two, another thing yes, I bought him. Hey, so we're at my ex-boyfriend's house. I used to live here, so I just wanted to give y'all a room tour. And what's still here of mine, because he's insane. So here we're coming into the bedroom, right here. Um, and we're looking around, and what do we see? The bed was still there, but it used to be bigger. And then there used to be a stripper pole there. And I never used it for sexual things because I'm not a pervert. Um, I mean, just picture it worse, but also he's 25 now and still has this up. Can some of y'all harass him on Instagram telling him he's a loser? This is how my hair looks. I should have shown y'all earlier. I think I did kind of. Grace did it. She fixed it. Um, I like it. I am glad it looks back to my normal again. Okay. I like how there's just a hole in the blue house. We're grabbing coffee this morning at Lucky Duck by hair. Okay, so it is Wednesday and I'm getting ready to go to a bunch of open mics tonight. Do I want to? You know what, kind of, yeah, tonight I do. I do, I do want to, I do. I realized in my last vlog, I posted that I didn't talk enough about what I was doing to explain things. So that's what I'm gonna try and do this time. And doesn't my hair look better? Thank you, Grace Kirk. Thank you, Gracie Kirk. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. I found out that in Florida they passed this bill. I'm sure everyone else knows about it. Uh, I assume the people watching this are highly educated and y'all know what the don't say gay bill is and I didn't I think it honestly sounds like the penis game it's like uh, don't say it <laughs> and then you just want to be like who can say it loudest uh, but also like how did they pass it if they like if you can't say it I don't know I imagine so many people in Florida were pissed like the don't say gay bill well fuck I call things gay all the time it's weird filming stuff in public. Every now and then I think I'm not meant to be a vlogger, but... I'm determined to do it. I just took two edibles, too, because I don't want to go upstairs to go smoke weed. So I'm like, I'll go shower. So this is my podcast setup before I podcast. This is my couch. I am thinking about putting my podcast on OnlyFans, um, but I'm going to show feet. So if you would s subscribe to that, let me know, because I think it's funny. And also, like, you know, if you want to see my feet, you can pay, like, $5 a month, get all my podcasts, and get to see my feet. And there will be no other contact content posted to my OnlyFans, because I don't want to be known for that, but... If you want to see my feet, you have to go to OnlyFans. I think it's funny. I think people would do, would subscribe to it. So if you would subscribe to that, let me know. I'm trying to zoom in on me. Ah, here's my face makeup for the day. I did my freckles again. I actually accidentally bleached part of this eyebrow. It's a little pink at the end, so I, yeah, it's not ideal. But, you know, that's just who I am just who I am. I'm just so mm, thick. I'm so excited to meet Make the Stallion next week. I'm so excited. I love her. I love her. I love Meg the Stallion so much. I'm like Britney the My Little Pony, but Meg the Stallion and Britney the My Little Pony. Great combo. It's like me, like me and Doja Cat. I'm an alley cat. I have no idea how I lost so much breath walking up here. But yeah, I'm going to get ready for my podcast. I'm making coffee right now to wake up. 
and then I'll show you all my night. I think I actually have fun things to do tonight. I'm doing late night laughs at Creek. I'm doing the open mic at Velve, which is always a good one. I love that one. I love Velveeta Room. Almost as much as I love Velveeta cheese. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> Bye. Stay still. No, that's enough. Come on. <laughs>